The Hopkinton Historic District Commission held a public forum to talk about potential expansion of the historic district. Chair Amy Ritterbush explained the process. District. We're just gathering feedback. Um, we might do a, try to do a smaller expansion than what we originally proposed, depending on what people say. We could also um, consider adjusting if these things to be exempt from review, if that's the feedback we get from people. You know, for example, if everybody from A Street really wants to be in the district, but everybody from B Street doesn't, we could always just say, okay, we'll, we'll just take A Street. We don't need to do B Street if people have on it. So we really appreciate everyone's feedback, and we're going to adjust accordingly. We're also working on creating design guidelines for the district about what would be allowed and, and not allowed by guidelines. We think that would make people more comfortable with being in the district if we knew exactly what the expectation or more, more closely what the expectation would be. One of the questions regarded funding for homes located in the historic district. Yeah. But the home actually is 100 years or more. And, and uh, they've had a sale sign on for a long time, but it doesn't seem to be yeah, it seem to be moving. If somebody wanted to knock it down and put up a new house, this would keep them from doing that. And I'm wondering if, if there would be funding involved to help for, to preserve it, these, because to give someone an incentive to uh, uh, keep them the way they are. So, you want to write that down? I don't think there is funding available for private homes. If it's a public building, like Center School, we can, we can probably get some funds for grants for that. But I don't think if it's a private home, we can. Sometimes there's funding if, if the property is on the National Register of Historic Places, but that's not what this is. Um, that's a whole different process. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think that's going to be on the history of yeah. yeah. So, if we include Blue B Street in the in the uh, historic district, it would kind of tie the hands of whoever wanted to change something there. There's definitely pros and cons. Um, we do understand that sometimes homes are just beyond saving. But we would at least they would at least become for us for design review so that whatever is built in its place would kind of fit in with the streetscape. But um, but right, sometimes something's kind of horrible, you know, flood or fire or like there was one on Grove Street and the roof was caved in in the back and it couldn't be saved. But right now, when that happens, um, if an older home that's not in the district um, has to, is demolished, there, we, there's no design review process for a private home. So just they can build whatever they want. It's well, nice. Sometimes it's awesome, you know, whatever. But they do have to go before the historical commission, um, but that just didn't want it to do a six-month delay. Um, and then after that, there's not much that can happen. Right. Another question asked about the process of routine maintenance. Uh, having your roof redone, shutters, re um, uh, gutters replaced, is that considered routine, or would that need to be approved? So I think gutters do come before us, um, but same type as existing, we would normally just allow it without even a hearing, just a regular meeting. And only if they're visible from the street. Yeah, it's visible from the street. And the same thing, if the roof is the same material and color, we would just say, we would just usually allow it. So do you have a set of guidelines that, that explain what routine maintenance is? Because yeah. I might think it's routine, but you know, what gutters and, and then all of a sudden be fine or whatever would happen, not knowing that. Oops. So I think that's going to be a big part of this process is getting our written design guidelines so people can read them and be comfortable with them or not. You can view the whole public forum on our website, hcam.tv.